hello my friends from the internet modi data guys here welcome to streamlining d365 finance and operation data migration with dmf a complete guide to data packages import and export essentially we are going to do this with mcp server we are going to automate this workflow using prompts and it's a five phase automation the very first phase is uh, entity execution sequence we can get it from with the get entity sequence uh, or data action after that we will create a export uh, uh, project and uh, we will export our data entities to a data package once we have that then we will execute the data project and in order to export all of the data once we have our uh, data package then we can import the data package in another environment or in another legal entity so it depends on the scenario but we will be loading in a different legal entity for now and finally we can monitor our uh, uh, import progress and as well as if there are any errors we can get information on that so let's dig in all the prompts are in github repository and the links are in blog post as well as in video description one of the prompts is uh, this get entity execution sequence for d365 fo data entities you can see it how it's uh, designed i already have executed the flow now let's see how it worked so first prompt is get entity sequence ex execution sequence and i provided the data entities first it search the first search for those entities and once it has all the information then eventually it called the get entity sequence method or action with those data entities as parameter it got the response back as we can see and first it presented the rough uh, response and then it presented in level one and level two this is how dmf actually sequence the execution of data entities so there is a unit level and sequence within same unit and same level the sequence is uh, what it will use to execute those uh, data entities we have uh, one unit two levels and all sequence is one so in this case all of these will export first in parallel then it will start working on level two and export these because there is some dependency among these entities that's why these are two in level two okay so once i have this information i asked it to follow the instructions in create export package based on above information so because i already provided the uh, data entities and it has the sequence so it followed that and created the data project first it created the data project with the generate data package equal to yes that's what we want because we want to use this data package once it has that after that it created the it added those entities into the data project as we can see level one entities can run in parallel level two entities depends on level one so once level one is completed it will work on level two and we can see it's cog adding those uh, entities into the data project one by one and finally it verified if the data project is created and uh, it has all the data entities so this completes step two the next step is to start the export and i asked it to follow the instructions in 
execute export package and just that because the it has all, all, all the required information already in the contacts window so it did that first it will verify some of the information eventually it will call the export to package and then once it's executed it's actually called to get the url for the uh, data package and it got back uh, nothing because the uh, project is still not created or executed actually so it waited for 10 seconds and called it again and it got the url back for the data package because this is a uh, one box that's why the url is localhost but for the tier one upward environments it will be the full qualified name based on the environment okay so we have our uh, data package and let me go to the fno environment and show you there as well i'm here and we can uh, okay it's refreshed so we can see this is the project and if i load we can see level one level two all the information is over here if i go back and collapse this this is the execution of the export and it was successful and let's go back to the chat so we have our data package now we can import i asked it to follow the instruction import data package in td gp legal entity so first is try to find the legal entity so and then eventually it started the import over here so and it's used the same url because uh, uh, import need a url which is a valid url of a data package so, so the, the url we got back is a 90 minute valid url and we can use it within the same environment or in the different environment we don't need to upload it one more time in the other environment we can use it directly from the source environment so it started the import and then it's a, a verified okay import is actually started successfully and we can go to fno environment and see that as well so this was our import project and this used the same sequence uh, level one level two and it's actually this is the execution summary but uh, if i open the project you will see that so that's the execution let me go back to the chat okay so it provided all the information about the package as well and some of uh, the uh, flow as well but let's go and see uh, how we can monitor the errors so i asked it to follow the instructions in monitoring error handling prompt and uh, with this just that it will figure out rest of the information from the contacts window which it, it did and it called the first it called the status when that is a partially success succeeded then it got the breakdown of uh, errors by data entity and then it's uh, provided the information okay these are eight successful these are uh, this one is partially successful this these two are failed and it tried to analyze the errors and uh, one of uh, the method we have is uh, get execution errors so it called that and got the errors back and then at the end if you see it categorized those errors and provided more information for us how we can fix those 
and uh, some of uh, next steps as well and uh, here i want to go to the end it actually provided some of the recommendations as well how we can fix these so we can ask it to actually fix it because it has the information but it may take more time but this is uh, it we, we you can use these prompts to automate your uh, flow to export the data packages import into another environment or another legal entity based on your scenario and this is a end-to-end -end flow i hope this will be useful for your work and if you like this or other content like this please subscribe and like until then Thank you very much. See you in the next one.